we had interacted through a couple of different channels. First, I helped Andreas when he was working on Planetfall, uh, which was very, very early on in the app router world. It was like next year's 13 had just come out. Um, and, and typical Andreas, bleeding edge, right on the very edge of bleeding, um, was, was working on that. Um, and Clerk had released a package that did support app router, just had some rough edges because we were kind of working on a very short timeline. Um, and so I helped Andreas get through that. And then we stayed in touch throughout that period of time. I did some work for Upstash, um, some consulting work and, and some advice and some stuff around DevRel and marketing and all those fun things that are really hard to get started when you're in pre-seed or seed. Um, and then Andreas pitched me one day, hey, I have this idea for co-marketing, which was essentially how Anki started. He wanted to basically take Clerk and Upstash and kind of make sort of what Anki is today, which was basically like, how could we do this in a way that used Upstash and, and Clerk together and make some sort of API key management system, make it really easy for people to, to basically handle some of this stuff. Um, and then he pitched it to me and I said, no, 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 let's, let's do this instead. Like we talked about it for a little bit internally over Discord. And then I was like, we should just do this. Um, we hadn't really worked on a project together uh, before that. Um, and then we just took the idea and said, let's do it and see what happens. Uh, so it took us about seven or so days from idea to like an MVP ish. And that was like a lot of copying and pasting code from other projects that we'd done over the years. And it just kind of slapped it all together, used templates from like tailwind and all sorts of things like that, just to get the idea out there. Um, and then we launched it and apparently people wanted it um it got very it did very well like the first week we we did like 750 stars uh we had almost a thousand signups um and then within july we were like okay well this seems viable we should add some sort of pricing so mm -hmm. that we can potentially monetize this or at least find out if people are even interested in paying for a service that does this idea being 100 percent open source and already we were kind of like, maybe people don't want to pay for this and maybe they'll want to use it for free, but maybe there's no monetization there. Um, and we monetized it. And, and a few days later, we had our first paying customer and they weren't a small customer. So it wasn't just like a random developer. It was a fairly mm -hmm. large customer at the time who was uh, building out an API and it just happened to all kind of align. Um, and we had all the features they needed uh, at the time. And so we we would we talked to them and we were very excited. And then we were like, well, if this customer's coming on, we're probably gonna have to incorporate because neither one of us want the tax burden of the payments that come from this. Uh so we incorporated, and as we were incorporating, we got introduced to a bunch of VCs. Mm -hmm. Um and then that's kind of how the hey, we maybe we could get this funded discussion started. Um and before that, we we there, there is a famous Discord message between Andreas and I that says like we are both very happy with our jobs. Let's keep doing this part time. Let's not try and get funded. Let's just do this as a side project. And occasionally, <laughs> yeah, occasionally it ends up in in our Slack messages. It's like remember this um, as a as a joke.